Welcome to another Budget Nerd video. Today we'll be looking at the cheapest Qi charger you can buy. Is it any good? Let's see. For those of you who do not know, Qi is an open interface standard for inductive charging over short distances. The word Qi is a Chinese word that means natural energy. Qi denotes power deliveries below 5 watts for low power items like phones. In order to use this charger featured in this video, you'll need a compatible device like a phone, for example. Mine is a Nexus 6. Well, how do these wireless chargers work, anyway? How can you charge something through the air? Well, you have to understand how electricity works. Electrons are not being consumed in your phone's battery as the battery meter goes down. Rather, the electrons are still there. It's the electrons' movement that powers your device. They are just slowly, or in my case, quickly, moving to a neutral state. Once they are in this neutral state, the battery is dead. So conversely, to charge the phone, we aren't introducing new electrons to the battery through the air, which is impossible. We are just using the electromagnetic field from the wireless charger to move the electrons in the battery to an unbalanced state, or charged. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the unboxing. Well, it's more of an un enveloping. So this one came from China and was purchased on eBay for $2.33. It took nearly three weeks to get here, and that is always a negative thing. But if you're in no hurry, like me, it's alright. This particular item said it had no USB cable on the listing, but this one came with one. There are multiple colors to choose from. This one is their blue one. It's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. It did not come with a wall adapter, so they intend on you plugging this into some USB outlet or uh, into your computer. At first the phone would slip around all over on the pad, but upon closer inspection there is a film that you can remove and then the rubber grips the desk and the phone pretty well actually. I hooked it up and sure enough it works, but I wanted to do some testing. Keep in mind these tests won't be super scientific, but I was going to do what I could. On the eBay listing it claims it will regulate its temperature and I wanted to see if it would charge quicker than my other green one since the charger says it charges at 1.5 amps and my older green one charges at 1 amp. I would be comparing these two and I also wanted to see if it would charge overnight without issues and that's when I usually charge my phone. So for these tests I use my Nexus 6. I drained the battery down to 50%. I set them on the charger and timed them and then check the temperatures. So the first test was with the green charger, the $12 one I've had for a while. Both times the phones and the chargers started at around 74.1 degrees. So the green one took one hour, 52 minutes and 52 seconds to charge the battery from 50 to 100%. And the phone was 93.3 degrees Fahrenheit, while the charger, after charging, itself was 94.6 degrees Fahrenheit. This charger I've been using for years, charging my phone overnight, so it's good there. Next was the cheap charger. I also drained the battery in my phone to 50% exactly, and plugged it into the same power adapter and USB cable the other one used. It charged to 100% in 1 hour, 53 minutes, and 18 seconds. 26 seconds slower than the green one, which is still pretty much the same time in my opinion. At the end of charging, the phone was a similar 92.9 .9 degrees, four tenths of a degree cooler than the green one, but the blue, cheaper charger itself was a much warmer 108.1 .1 degrees, a whole 13 and a half degrees warmer. Not a major problem, as the phone itself was the same temperature as the other one. I'm sure their claim was that it keeps the phone under 60, 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, and it did do that. 
My assumption is that even though it uses an extra half amp than the green one, it is just less efficient than the more expensive one. The power adapter I used for both of these tests was rated higher than one amp, so the blue charger could have taken advantage of that, but it didn't charge faster. So even though it was a little warmer, it still gets a pass in my book. Since it only came with a USB cable, they intend for you to have your own power adapter or to plug it into a computer to charge, so I hooked it up to my laptop to charge this way overnight and woke up in the morning with a fully charged phone, so it passed that test as well. In the end, if you aren't in a major hurry, grab one. This one worked well for me. It's nice to have a second one for the car or work, and it's hard to beat $2.33. Just make sure your device is compatible. So if you like this video, if it was helpful or interesting, give it a like, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.